One of the tests that's been developed in recent years to look for the risk of chromosomal problems or aneuploidy in the developing fetus is cell-free DNA screening. This is a screening test that helps us to understand the risk that your baby has a chromosomal problem. Basically what happens is we take a blood sample. This blood sample contains both DNA from you and also DNA from the developing baby, actually mostly from the placenta. By looking at the representation of these different chromosomes in that blood sample, we can tell whether the likelihood is that the baby is chromosomally normal or chromosomally abnormal. This test is best for Down syndrome, or trisomy 21, although there are other chromosomal conditions that it can screen for. It's not the same as a diagnostic test, so it can't give us a yes or no answer, but it can help us know whether your risk of a chromosomal problem is increased or decreased. In the first trimester, if you choose this for your screening option, you also will have an ultrasound so we can see how the baby is developing and measure the nuchal translucency. This is an area at the back of the neck and enlargement of the nuchal translucency has been associated with chromosomal problems as well as structural problems for the baby. This won't go directly into the risk calculation if you choose a cell-free DNA test, but it just allows us to know that those measurements are normal. Most insurances will cover some portion of this test, but not all. So we'll be able to call your insurance before you have the test drawn to find out what the cost would be. Any person who's considering cell-free DNA in the first trimester will also have the option of early risk assessment, which is a test that's covered by all insurance. Once the blood is drawn, it takes about two weeks for the results to come back.